Simone here. So today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a lace closure install with West Kiss hair. So first things first, take the wig out the box and inspect it. If you want to wear a stocking cap, now would be the time to install it as you see I already did. Now I never really wear a stocking cap, but because my hair is super oiled, I didn't wanna risk getting the oil on the wig. Also, since it's a lace closure wig, there will not be any lace near the ears and check to make sure that the wig fits snug and position it in place. So for step two, you wanna start by brushing back any hairs and then pin your wig back. Get a hot comb, a curling iron, or a blow dryer and just brush the hair going back. This prevents any hair from getting in the way when installing. This is also my way of setting the hair before we actually install. What? Next, get your hairspray. I'm gonna be using Gotta Be Glue. Fold the lace back and spray and then use your finger to kind of smear the hairspray onto your skin so that it does not drip towards your face. Make sure your wig is exactly where you want it before you start blow drying because once you do that, you cannot move it. If you move it, it will turn white and flaky. Use a scissors or something like a rat tail comb or a brush to just hold the lace down as you're blow drying it. I have my blow dryer on the hottest heat and you wanna make sure you're holding down the edge of the lace. Every now and then, you wanna hold the lace and brush the hair back. I do this because sometimes you might have sprayed too much spray and not realize, and this will cause the hair to group together and just look all sticky and not completely smooth. And then if you want, you could run the hot comb, the curling iron, or a blow dryer through the front of your hair just to continue making it look neat and uniform. Next, let's cut the lace. So I'm kind of going in a zigzaggy type of motion. You can go straight across if you want. I just don't recommend it. For me, when it's a little jagged and I move the scissors in this type of direction, kind of up and down, it kind of gives it a more natural look. If you're not sure how to cut a lace, I do have a YouTube video on that, which I will add to the cards right now in the upper right corner, upper left corner. So it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look crusty. Don't freak out, don't worry. There's always a cure. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off as much of the lace as possible. I don't like to keep too much of the lace on, but we're gonna fix this. Keep trimming. Careful not to cut any skin off. All right, so we're here. Now we're gonna go into perfecting the hairline. For the next step, you wanna use more hairspray and spray it at the edge of the hairline and then use a comb or a scissors or anything pointy to hold down the very, very edge of the lace. And you wanna hold it down in place. So the more hairspray, the more that line is going to start to lighten up or I should say blend in more into your skin. Make sure that to spray it on the hair. Again, you don't want the hair to group up and look all unnatural. This is probably the best we're gonna get for now, okay? Get a wet paper towel with water and just clean up the front of where the lace is because any extra hairspray will look shiny and we don't wanna keep that on there. It's gonna look really crazy, especially in the daylight. Cut off any more lace. Now I'm gonna use some foundation, a powder, and just put it at the very ends of the lace. Now when you're doing this, make sure your foundation powder that you're using does not have a harsh red undertone or a red tint. You want it to have more of a yellow tint or yellow under base undertone because guys, you will look nuts when you go outside. It's gonna be too red, too orangey, and just green that you have on a wig. I mean, we already know, but you don't want it to look crazy, okay? Now you wanna take your rat toe comb and scoop out a thin thin amount of hair. This is gonna go into sculpting the hairline. Now, if you're brave, <laughs> you can use a hot comb and just flatten the hair going in the opposite direction towards your face. This is, kinda, this is gonna kinda set the hair to stay that way even when you cut the hair. baby hairs, the biggest debate ever. So luckily for you guys, I don't do a lot of baby hairs, but I like a little something. I feel like when I don't have too much baby hairs, I feel very odd. Something is better than nothing for me. 
and then continue hot combing it in that direction. Now, if you're scared of the hot comb or the curling iron going towards your face, don't worry, you don't have to. Just use, use mousse in order to set it. Okay, so we have all this hair, right? You can use a razor comb, I think that's called, or a scissors and just lightly rub it against the hair to kind of cut it off, cut off the excess hair. And then this is gonna be the next tool that I'm gonna be using for a while. It's a toothbrush with some mousse. And this is like my favorite mousse because it does the job, it holds and it looks natural. And for the next minute or so, I'm gonna just sculpt the hell out of my hairline. Again, if you like all the baby hairs, girl, go all out. If you don't, then you can just follow what I'm doing. If you hear my dog in the background, please ignore it because she sounds crazy. Now the hairline takes time. I always tell people that it is not going to be a one, two, three process if you want a certain look. So you will spend about a good three to four minutes on your hairline, okay? Take it or leave it. Before you educate the head, try to educate the heart. Then I'm gonna use this headband, just like a piece of elastic, and just tie the hairline down until I'm done with styling the hair. So I'm gonna go in row by row to really flatten out this closure and ignore that little blonde spot. I over bleached my knots, <laughs> so ignore that. But um, just go ahead and continue this until the entire portion of your lace closure is flat. The one thing about this wig I do want to make clear to you guys is the grid on it is very, the holes are very large, okay? Um, well, my ears were hurting really bad. Do not tie this over your ears. So at first I was going to do a half a pat down, but then I was just like, eh, I wasn't really feeling it. So I figured I'd still show you guys in case you guys want to see how it looks if you put it upwards. Um, so yeah, it has large grids on it. So that part I'm not really a fan of, to be honest. I feel like the grid should be a teeny bit smaller. But you know what? I'll give it a 7.9 out of 10 for actually matching my skin because I actually was really confident wearing this wig outside in the daytime. It actually did blend in very well with <laughs> my forehead so i was actually really impressed like it looks a little bit more obvious on camera because obviously i'm sitting in front of a bright ass light but even outside and in my vlogs it actually looks really good so i actually like that part the lace harness was actually really good once you color it to your liking so if you're darker or um uh even my shade you'll probably have to tint it if you don't want to do the whole makeup option and then I decided to go ahead and do crimps because crimps is always in. So here I am just using my crimper, which I'll link down below for you guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and crimp my entire head. And then, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Again, this wig is from West Kiss Hair. I hope I broke this down enough for you guys on how I install my lace closure wigs. Um, this wig was actually really popping. I oh, I didn't add a headband to secure the wig. I did just use the straps that come in the wig already, not an actual headband, but the straps. And I did um, just pull those very close together, and that's how it's staying on my head. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.